England have named their side to face France on Saturday evening at Twickenham, with rugby league convert Sam Burgess and Exeter Chiefs Henry Slade picked in the centres, in a starting 15 that contains three uncapped players. Northampton Saints' Callum Clark will also make his debut at flanker in the back row, alongside Tom Wood, who skippers the side, and number eight Ben Morgan, who returns from injury. So what does Lancaster hope to see from his new midfield pairing? I think what I've said all along is um, what we need in our back line is a, is a balance. Um, a balance of ball players, um, so guys who can create things, uh, ball carriers, so threats at the gain line, uh, and finishers. Uh, and I think, obviously, Sam ticks the... Uh, the ball carrying box, if you like, um, and uh, in the same way that we used Luther Burrell and JJ in the Six Nations, you know, we scored 18 tries in the Six Nations, which I think is the most tries scored by a team since 2003, um, and we probably, if you look back at it, would, um, would argue we left three or four out there, particularly if you look back at the Italy game and the, and the Scotland game. Um, so that's why he's, he's there to be looked at as an option in that position. Um, often... You know, when they, he plays for Bath, whether he, whether he played at centre or when he played at six, he was obviously used, particularly on first phase, not in the line out. He was used as a threat at the line. Uh, and whether it's him or Matt Banahan or the way Bath constructed their attack, their, 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 their power runners often were, were attracting defenders. As a consequence, then you can play the ball out the back and, and so on and so forth. So, um, and obviously, there's a physicality nature of back lines in international rugby where you need to look at um, that element of things, particularly defensively as well. And, uh, um, you know, I look at, you know, if you were playing against New Zealand with Mar Nonu and Julian Severe lined up against you as, as a starter play, or you've got Kiran Drani or got Jamie Roberts and George North. So it's just trying to steal that balance. And as I say, it's, a, uh, uh, it's an option for us to look at, and it's, it's, it'll be an interesting um, inside to see whether it goes well at the weekend or not. With the likes of Corbusiero, Haskell and Cipriani all hoping to make an impact from the bench, is it likely that Lancaster will ask the replacements to play an earlier part than in a normal test match? Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, and that's one thing going through my mind, actually. Not to, uh, not to empty the bench too early to, uh, to leave no one left to come on if you, if you pick up an injury after 60 minutes. But you, you do want to create opportunities. Um, you know, Ben Morgan's probably a good example where you know, we wouldn't expect him to play the full game. Um, uh, but if you've got Danny Kerr on the bench, I want to get him on. You know, I want to get Billy Twelvetrees on. I want to get Danny Cipriani on. So yeah, without a doubt, that, that will play a part. I think it'd be fair to say that again. You know, I think most sides will adopt that sort of strategy in these early games. But I'm not sure I'll be repeating that in in the second French game, or, or more importantly, the Ireland game, and definitely the Fiji game. Obviously, it would be different again. After Wales's lacklustre defeat to Ireland through perhaps trying out too many combinations, what is Lancaster's message to England fans? Well, certainly we're going out to, to win the game, as I said, um, but we definitely want to play with a positive intent. There's no point in doing a load of work on your fitness and then not playing in a high-tempo game. You know, we think the way we finished the Six Nations um, uh, and the way we played throughout the Six Nations when the weather allowed, um, we played you know, a quick high-tempo game which, which forced problems to the opposition. So... We'd like to see the same on Saturday. That's certainly my message to the players.